Welcome to Lux Research and our innovator leader profile. Today, we have the pleasure and privilege of speaking with the president of TDK Ventures, Nicholas Savage. Nicholas, welcome. Thank you very much for your time. We're really excited to have you here on our show. Thank you, Marissa, for having me today. As you think about all of the projects and initiatives that you have done, what's the one you're most proud of and, and would like to showcase? So I think one of the things that we've defined very early on is what we call TDK goodness. And TDK goodness is when we bring value to entrepreneurs, but also our investing partners and TDK and any in the, in the ecosystem. But the real TDK goodness is when we deliver value, but it's not what we believe brought value, but actually what the entrepreneurs will validate was valuable to them. And so we have a really big database of TDK goodness. I think we have reached more than 2000. I think we are probably soon at 2500. And it's documented, but it's only added to the database when the recipient of that TDK goodness validate it was valuable to them. And about two years ago, we've even increased that uh, to with a granularity of marquee TDK goodness. And marquee TDK goodness is when the recipient validate it really moved the needle for them. So it was not just valued, but really moving the needle, like winning a big customers or identifying a market they had not thought about, but that's really important for them and they move towards it. And so What's interesting about this is most times it's very easy for us to think that we are adding value and believe what we think. We have to test it with a recipient, with a customer. And we see the entrepreneurs as our customer, the heroes of our stories. And so what that means is we need to make sure that when we add value, it is validated to be adding value. And this is also where we learn that sometimes what we thought was valuable was not really valuable so we actually can calibrate and refine our strategy and sometimes we discover something which thought was not going to be that valuable becomes really valuable so that tdk goodness concept i think is proving extremely powerful because it drives the right behaviors in our team we're not thinking about what we think is valuable but we are really driven by what our customers are telling us they want yeah and then we augment this of course with an annual survey which follows the nps methodology and i'm quite proud of it because we're not we it's not that we care about the score actually it's what we what we get from the survey and how we act on that feedback and so maybe i could share how we do that methodology if you'd like yeah yeah absolutely. so we have it's only three questions and i'm the one sending the emails and we send it to minimum three people of each of our portfolio companies. So it's not just the person we know well, it's not just the CEO, it's at least three people inside the portfolio companies. And now we have 37 portfolio companies. So imagine that uh, earlier this year, I sent more than 200 emails myself, actually with the follow emails even more so. <laughs> and the first question is really the NPS methodology from one never to 10 absolutely. How likely would you recommend TDK Ventures to another entrepreneurs? Now, there is clearly a twist, which is from an entrepreneur to an entrepreneur, the bar is much higher than if I was to recommend to a friend or a colleague. There is a reputational stake in it. So the score is actually probably um, uh, even more validated as a consequence. Now, the next two questions are actually the most important question. The second one is basically saying, what did we do well for you? And that helps us to know what we did well and we should double down. And sometimes we discover things we did that we didn't think was such a big deal. But if it's an open question and that comes up, that's really good to know. And also, this is also a chance for entrepreneurs to tell us who in my team has done something exceptional. Because I'm not asking, is there anyone in my team that did something well for you? They proactively on an open question mention someone in my team. And that happens more and more, which is really nice. And then the third question, and because the second question asks the positive, I think it allows, it gives a license for the entrepreneurs to be more uh, transparent and critical on the third question is, what could we do better for you? And because they've gotten some positive, the next one, they really go for it. And they give us really feedback about 
I wish you had a bigger check size. I wish your due diligence was not as heavy, or I wish you had communicated this earlier with us. And then we discuss as a team and we meet once a year. It's called the reflection week. And we take all of these inputs and then we decide what are the processes, what are the improvements, what are the messaging we should change so that we improve and we do better for our current entrepreneurs and the future entrepreneurs. And that aligns your essentially belief and culture around customer centricity, which you just essentially, you know, describe how you action customer centricity is near and dear to our heart at Lux because it's innovation is really about human beings and we're a big believer of human centric innovation. And what you describe, I think is just an incredible example of thinking through your strategy and decisions around innovation, putting people at the center of that. Uh, and you, you've, you've done it from asking input from your, your customers, your heroes, to then uh, working with your team internally and the internal workflows and processes and tie that all together through the entire spectrum end to end, truly making it human, human centric innovation. I mean, at the end, it's about people. And when we think about venture capital, it's white glove service. We have deep respect for entrepreneurs who are risking what they are doing today to go and build a project of their life. We actually have a term which you can see on our website, uh, which is we see the entrepreneurs as the ultimate impact scalers. And what we mean by that is it is their projects, their life's projects to bring positive impact to the world and to scale it. And, and the way uh, I, I like to think about is if VC or corporate VC done well, then we are the impact scalers behind the impact scalers because we can help them to scale and to be more impactful. And I wrote an article on Medium, which is called Impact Scaler Squared, because we have this potential of not only helping our portfolio companies, but many, many others when we do well our job as a venture capital. Sounds like you have a rich database of customer insights as well through this through this process that you do a survey. Is there anything remarkable or surprising that you've learned from from those insights? Well, I can tell you when, when we did the first NPS survey, my team wasn't so keen to do it uh, <laughs> because you're always worried about what could come back. But one of the biggest surprise we had was it was very early stage companies. And we saw that they, what they want is, of course, capital and the superpowers that comes from TDK corporations, this equal win I mentioned. But actually, when we said, what else could we do better? We were very surprised that a few of them said, please help us with marketing. Oh. We have no brand. We don't know when to go out of sales modes. We don't know how to write a press release. Um, I mean, they didn't say it that way, but basically they were saying, please help us with marketing. And we did not expect that as an expectation on TDK Ventures. But as a consequence of that, when we met as a team, we decided, okay, let's create a role called marketing principal, whose job is to help our portfolio companies on their marketing journey and helping them to choose the right peer firm, choosing when to go out of sales modes, uh, helping them craft their very first press release, helping right. them with thinking about brand and positioning. That was, that was a huge surprise of that first NPS survey but that's how we acted upon it. And then if you think about uh, our team today, most of our scaling team, which is all about helping our portfolio companies scale with less risk and faster, it's basically all coming from the feedback from these NPS surveys over the years. That's a great, a great testament to, to being agile and, and customer centric, but a, a wonderful story. It's not uh, just customer. So we also do this NPS survey to our investing partners mm -hmm. and we learn a tons from what we do well and what we could do better. And we do the same for TDK colleagues. So we also ask them, what, what could we do better? What have we done well? And so again, the score doesn't really matter. Although it's nice to see how it trends over time. Is it up or down? But this also helps us to refine our processes, engaging better with TDK, which to be honest, once we do that better, means that we can connect with the startups we don't invest in and the portfolio companies we have invested in to work better together. So 
I, I would say the NPS is amazing for customers, but I would not limit it for customers. It could also be your peers. It could be your colleagues. There's so much you can learn just by asking three simple questions. Mm -hmm.